Hi, everybody! Hi, Dan! Hello! How are you doing? Very good, extremely good. <laughs> we are launching a new series of videos, the usual breakdown, but this time from a comedic perspective. So this is why we have this comedian right here, Dan Barakai. Thank you very much. Very happy to be here. And we're kicking off this series of videos with... Tyrion Lannister, we're gonna break down the humor of Tyrion Lannister. What a guy. What a guy. Like, Which one of them is Tyrion? <laughs> 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 so Tyrion, he's not just a jokester. He has like uh, an ability to talk, can get himself out of trouble thanks to his mouth. He managed to survive I'm thanks Tyrion. to his wit. How would you like to die, Tyrion, son of Tywin? In my own bed, at the age of 80? With a belly full of wine and a girl's mouth around my cock? <laughs> Basically what he's doing there is uh, crowd work. Every comedian he got his uh, routine, his okay. jokes. Okay. And then the crowd work is talking to the crowd, making okay. uh, interactions, you know. It's making him uh, more uh, available for the crowd, the crowd feel more comfortable. Right, so Tyrion basically, he's making his crowd yeah. more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, he's making them laugh. Laughing is always positive. Uh, yeah, people always like uh, a funny man. <laughs> a funny person, you mean. He's making them laugh by laughing at himself. I think with comedy, there's... It's not a rule of thumb, but I think you have to be the underdog. There's no place for being above the audience. So as you're watching Ethereum go to work, yeah. getting shit done, yeah. what do you think of as a comedian? Uh, he can't uh, protect himself uh, physically, so he right. developed this mm -hmm. ability right. to make people uh, laugh. Right, and not kill him. It's uh, basic uh, survival. Yeah. Wait, you, you can't just hand the dried cock to a merchant and expect him to pay for it. He has to know it came from a dwarf. It will be a dwarf-sized cock. Guess again. The dwarf lives until we find a cock merchant. You know, I was pretty impressed with how Tyrion, first he made fun of himself, and then he started to rib them. At least I have the courage to face my enemies. What do the stone crows do? Hide behind rocks and shiver when the knights of the Vale ride by. Basically, he fights them with his words and he ridicules them. Can somebody be my cameraman tonight? Who would, who would like to do it? It's got to be somebody from You want to do it? Okay, cool. Can you look more out of work, sir? I mean, really. Yeah, actually, I loved uh, that scene because that's exactly what I feel when I go on stage. I feel like I'm in a dark forest with barbarians with weapons lurking at the right. dark wanting to hurt me <laughs> and my whole uh, purpose and my whole goal is just to stay alive <laughs> if they're laughing that's fine that's but right. if i stay alive if i uh, survive this uh, set that's right. uh, fine for me right. if they like me at the end that's that's amazing i made the bald man cry into the turtle stew, which I do believe my sister ate. At least I hope she did. He's not just like comfortable with the mic. He's just like, I don't know, oftentimes just comfortable with people. Hello? Hello. You've got no drink. You've got no money. Do I look like a man without money? So he's also good at uh, small talk. Well, that's actually different than uh, most comedians I know okay. who feel very uncomfortable in uh, usual uh, yeah, social talks. situations and a lot more comfortable when they're uh, standing on stage with the mic when it's not really a conversation. That's the form of conversation they can have. I got a lot of things to talk about tonight. First of all, I've stopped smoking weed. <laughs> with black people, you didn't let me finish, motherfuckers. God damn. I'm sorry, black people, to, to break the news so publicly, but I can't smoke with you anymore. They are afraid of people, of talking to people, so they found this uh, way mm. to interact with the mass <laughs> <laughs> amount of people, sometimes even 12. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you drinking? Are you? Uh, all right, Philly, you got it. All right, I get it. And then you're going to go home and cry to boys to men? What are you going to do? these thoughts that other people also have, but they would mm -hmm. never dare uh, say it. Or, or even admit to life. themselves that they think Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't even think that way. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you go on stage and you project these uh, feelings, uh, negative these feelings. negative feelings you yeah. have for uh, people around you <laughs> and to uh, 
things that happening around you yes. and you're the one who's allowed to say it and it's giving uh, the audience a relief right, a release. of their own sick yes. thoughts. <laughs> a great thing about comedy is taking people to places that they have fear and foreboding and, totally and, and making them laugh in that place. I Absolutely. think you help them. I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. Yeah, oh, he's, he's crazy. He's <laughs> crazier than me. Oh, he's, this guy is so crazy. He's cracking me up, he's crazy. I would never say something like that. That's, that's crazy. Maybe another reason that the comedians prefer to be on stage is that because they know their mouths, if they run their mouths. There will be no betting ceremony. There will be if I command it. Then you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. Well, yeah, as a comedian, you keep uh, trying to reach uh, hidden doors inside you and think of things in ways that are uh, mostly inappropriate and uncomfortable because we live in a polite society uh, you don't want to make people around you uncomfortable what did you say okay 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 so okay so 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 אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
Basically, I can assure you it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody, so, so nobody is born funny, right? You become funny through your environment. And this is probably why you have different kinds of humor that grew up in different kinds of cultures and situations. If you are poor, if you are a minority. I'm sure there were no black nominees some of those years, say 62 or 63. And black people did not protest. Why? Because we had real things to protest at the time. Too busy being raped and lynched to care about who won best cinematographer. If you're a woman, if you're an immigrant, you develop a different kind of humor. But uh, one constant factor I see in most comedians okay. is that most of them are outsiders. Why They're having do you think? a hard time fitting in. Being an outsider is uh, a characteristic that a comedian needs. Right. And, it, and, it, and it works for Tyrion. Tyrion is, is, an, is an outsider. Physically, with different eyes, he always right. sees it from, from a different <laughs> height. He sees things differently, and that's what you expect from a comedian. Mm -hmm. you, want, uh, you want the jokes, you're expecting to laugh, but you right. want the insights. Right. And you can have interesting insights about life only if you're an outsider, if you can see things from outside. Oh, so there's still hope. I don't want hope. Hope is killing me. <laughs> My dream is to become hopeless. When you're hopeless, you don't care. Mm -hmm. And when you don't care, that indifference makes you attractive. Uh -huh. So hopelessness is the key. It's my only hope. So, so we're talking about right the evolution of humor, so self-defense and then a weapon to fight back. But yeah. something that Tyrion also does is a lot of self-deprecating humor. Like yeah. he beats you to the punch. You can't make fun of me yeah. that I'm a dwarf. I'm going to say yeah. it outright before you can say anything. The height of nobility, a man of your stature, someone to look up to. You're all making the same five or six jokes. It's very hard to offend a comedian because... Really? He, yeah, as a comedian, you always look at your downsides. You always... That's where you're coming from. Look how stupid I am. Look how disgusting I am. Look what an asshole I am. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's talk about using humor to bully people. <laughs> oh, Lancel, tell my friend Bron to please kill you if anything should happen to me. Please kill me if anything should happen to Lord Tyrion. Do you use humor to bully people? It sure is nice to bully someone after you've been bullied your whole life. Sure is nice, but people don't like you as much after you do that. Okay, but sometimes it doesn't go well, and you and you say a joke, and it bombs. The stock reaches into his cup, pulls out the fly, and shouts, "Spit it out, you wee shit! Spit it out!" Yeah, yeah, that's always a risk uh, going on stage. You always, you can always bomb. You never know. You should have known. This is a horrible joke. Yeah, well, uh, the joke starts horribly. Three lords walk into a tavern: a Stark, a Martell, and a Lannister. They order ale, but when the barkeep brings them over, each of them finds a fly in his cup. Uh, the premise. The premise was premise is something you uh, tell before you start the joke, so okay. so, so the uh, crowd will know why they're listening to what you're going right. to say. They're uh, subliminally waiting for the payoff of the premise. Okay. Ah. I'm like uh, uh, people uh, when they hear I'm a comedian, they always uh, come up to me and like, do you want to hear a joke? And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, it never. I have a good joke. Want to hear the joke? No. Definitely not. It's always like, farmer had a horse and he used to feed the horse uh, daily. Every morning at 8 a.m. No, it's like the pizza, the, the pizza joke. Uh, well, you know the pizza joke about Sunday? No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm sure it's a bad joke. It's never a good joke. Comedians tell jokes. Okay. Normal people. What if they discover they can do it themselves? They, they can do it themselves. Yeah, but why are they paying us? They can't do no, it as they, well. They can't they're, do it as well. We are a high octane uh, version of it. We are we're pros. Just, okay. Another joke? Just no. I don't want to hear a joke. The Some payoff noir. is never worth it. The pay, no, it's like three minutes of my time wasted. I'm gonna laugh. You promise? 
You promise? I'm sure it's not going to be fun. Let's try it later at the end, uh, at the okay. end of the video. Okay. So what do you think about Misande's joke? Tell a joke. That was amazing. This person, Misande. Two translators are on a sinking ship. The first says, do you know how to swim? The second says, no, but I can shout for help in 19 languages. She didn't even know about humor until this <laughs> scene. She never heard a joke. She never <laughs> told a joke. And she instantly made up a perfect joke. Zero fat. Just a working joke. If you ask me, I think it's the writers <laughs> who, wrote the, who wrote the jokes. I didn't think she made it up. I, I don't think she made it up instantly. Okay. That's very suspicious. It's very hard to write jokes. Okay, okay. I didn't think she did. <laughs> בוא אחי, ראיתי את אשתך מזדיינת ביער, מזדיינת ביער. הולך, חוזר, אומר לו יער. שלושה עצים. איש אחד בא, נכנס לך, נכנס לך, נכנס לך, אחי, ראיתי אשתך מזדיינת עם השכן, מזדיינת. הולך, חוזר, לא, מזדיינת. מזדיינת. Good. Okay, so let's wrap it up. Thank you, we done. Thank you. Oh, that was a good laugh. You really laughed, right? Yeah, yeah, that was yes. really, yeah, no. that was funny. So if you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe to get all our videos. And if you want us to do more comedy videos, mention in the comments and consider supporting the channel on patreon.com slash gotacademy. We need your support to keep going. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye, Thank everybody. Bye-bye.